I'm Robin Ray, this is SOTV, and here's what's trending. Canadian telecommunication company BlackBerry has a new tactic to try and lure its customers back into business by paying them to hand in their iPhones. The deal is available to all those in North America who currently use an iPhone, paying users up to $600 to trade for the new BlackBerry Passport. Look what I found in my pocket! Look! A year's salary right here! That's what I call them? Fun coupons! The promotion will begin December 1st and runs through to February 13th, 2015, with merchandise available through BlackBerry's website or through Amazon. Users were also surprised to hear that President Barack Obama is among the few who chooses to use a BlackBerry over any other product on the market. What do Robin Williams, the iPhone 6, and the Ebola virus all have in common? They all topped the list of Yahoo Canada's most searched subjects in 2014. The study is done annually based on the top news stories and trends of the year, as well as daily search habits of Canadians. Rounding out the top 10, Jennifer Lawrence, Rob Ford, Isis, Kate Middleton, Malaysia Airlines, Joan Rivers, and Rosen. It's been 40 years in the making, but with no hesitation, Australian rockers ACDC are back with a new album. The group recently released their 15th studio album titled Rock or Bust, the band's first original recording since 2008. The first single from the album, titled Play Ball, was released early October and has seen much commercial success, reaching the top 40 charts in several countries. Lead singer Brian Johnson admitted that it was difficult to make the album without band member Malcolm Young, who is currently suffering from dementia. It was announced that the band has big plans for a world tour in 2015 to follow the album and, of course, celebrate their 40th anniversary as one of rock's greatest bands. Wait. Want to see more with SOTV? Subscribe below.